guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. Today I thought I would do an update video. As you guys know, I try to do one or two of these per month, updating you guys on the portfolio, what's in the portfolio, my entire stock holdings, including big trades that I made throughout the month, either swing trades, day trades, stocks I've sold off, stocks that I've acquired, and or things I'm thinking about doing with the portfolio. As you can see here up top, 110864.34. So very, very good trading over the past month or so. Last day of trading here, you can see in the green, 0.14% up, 151.26, with a little bit extra in after hours trading as well, 17.07. And if you guys remember as well, I have all of my stocks segmented as to market sector. Uh, on the left there, you can see the ticker symbol. Under the ticker symbol, you can see the number of shares I currently hold. And over on the right, you can see the last one day's worth of trading, either trending up which will be in green, or a loss for the day, which will be in red. So having said all that, let's jump into the portfolio. Again, I'll highlight any big changes I made or any changes I'm thinking about doing in the portfolio. So starting up top, I have my high dividend yielding ETFs, starting with DVY, SCHD, SDY, SPHD, and VYM. And just to highlight here, SPHD, this is one of my favorite dividend funds. It's a high dividend, low volatility ETF, as you can see on the bottom there. You can see it also has a monthly dividend payment, which is excellent, and a very good dividend yield as 4.004%. This is a very, very good fund. I actually have quite a large holding of this in my E-Trade account. So definitely like this fund, especially for new investors who don't have a lot of capital necessarily. It's only $40.63. It has a monthly dividend, which is nice, and it's a, it's a dividend that I would consider high yield. Any, anywhere from 46%, I think, are high yield dividends that can be sustained over the long term. Below my high dividend yielding ETFs, I have my healthcare star stocks, first starting with pharmaceuticals, ABBV, Avi Incorporated, LLY, Eli Lilly and Company, PFE, Pfizer, PTLA, Portola Pharmaceuticals, and then I have a few healthcare companies within healthcare as well, ABT, Abbott Laboratory, CAH, Cardinal Health, and J&J, Johnson & Johnson. And just to highlight a few stocks here, Avi Incorporated has been on a tear over the last week here. You can see it's a four, or actually 13.14% here, 4.35% uh, over the last day. So very, very good news. I believe one of its experimental drugs was accepted by the FDA. So love this stock. It's got a great dividend yield, 3.753%. And as you guys remember, as well, I put out a video. This is an offshoot of Abbott Laboratories. So this actually came off of Abbott Laboratories in 2013, as you can see here. And since that time, it's been a very, very good play with this nice trend up here over the past month or so. Uh, below that, I have Portola as well. This is a great dividend stock, or excuse me, this is a great income stock uh, with regards to the uh, growth over the last year. 57.40 is its current price. You can see here at one point, it was down to 18, 17 18 dollars. It's been trending up very nicely over the past year here. You can see it's at 155.79, which is excellent. You can see the holdings there, 462 shares, 26.518.80, the equity value. So this is a very, very good play for the portfolio so far. Very high risk. Would not encourage anyone to get into this stock if you are not risk averse. Uh, it's a lot of risk with this particular stock. Under my healthcare stocks, I have... Next, my industrials, first starting with aerospace, BA Boeing, LMT, Lockheed Martin. Below that, conglomerates, GE, General Electric, MMM, 3M. And GE has been really trending down quite uh, considerably over the last year here. This is a good contrarian play, I believe. Uh, again, very, very risky, but with risk comes great with, great with uh, reward as well. So you can see here it's up 30.59% over the past five years, but over the past one year, it's actually down 20.76%. And over the last month here, you can see down another 6.85%. So definitely a contrarian play. I've been putting a little bit of money into GE. If it dips below $20, I'm definitely going to put quite a bit of capital in, probably five to 6,000. I think it's a very, very good contrarian play over the next five years or so. Uh, below the industrials, or excuse me, below the conglomerates, I have one machinery, Stock ITW, in, uh, Illinois Toolworks, two railroad companies, CNI, Canadian National Railroad, one uh, other uh, railroad company there, UNP, Union Pacific, uh, one supply company, International Paper, and then a new stock on the portfolio. This was actually a merger between Dow Chemical and DuPont. 
and you can see the combined company here, Dow, DuPont, Incorporated, just recently put out a video describing the merger with this particular stock. You can see it's trading 64.90. You can see here it just started trading uh, on the 31st. I think the uh, second was, or the uh, third was the actual first day of trading as there was a holiday on Monday. And the plan is for this company to split into three additional companies. So sometime within the next, I think, two to three years, this stock will split to two additional companies, including the uh, DWDP uh, merger between Dow and DuPont as well. So very, very interesting play there. Uh, below that, I have Ford. Ford has been rebounding quite nicely over the past one month or so. You can see here it is up 4.41%. After trending down quite a bit over the past one year here, 4.03%. So at one point down, 8 to 10%. Coming back nicely. I like this as a long-term play. It's a great dividend play. Again, my opinion only. I know a lot of investors do not like Ford. But again, if everybody is jumping on the bandwagon, you can't really make a good return. Uh, when uh, some folks are fearful, that's, a, uh, that's the best time to buy. That's one of the greatest times of making a good play. Again, a contrarian play. You're kind of going against the grain what the uh, overall underlying financial community is thinking about a particular stock. And you can really jumpstart your returns on these types of plays. Again, this is a longer term play for the portfolio. And I also like doing day and swing trading. Once my last dividend payment gets qualified, I'm going to be doing some more day and swing trades with Ford. So below uh, Ford, and that was actually the start of my consumer uh, con uh, discretionary. Uh, GM with that as well. Uh, Target TGT, uh, one general merchandise company. I have one electronics company, Garmin, GRMN, a few restaurants, MCD, McDonald's, YUM, Yum Brands, and then the the offshoot in China, YUMC, Yum Brands China, one textile company, VFC. And then I get into my consumer staples here with Archer Daniel Midlands, agricultural stock, foodstuffs, SYY, Cisco, a few packaged goods, excuse me, a few household goods, CL, Colgate, KMB, Kimberly Clark, some packaged goods, SHY, Hershey Company, KHC, Kraft Heinz Company, one personal goods uh, stock there, PG, Procter & Gamble, a couple beverage companies here, BUD, Anheuser-Busch, KO, Coca-Cola, and PEP, PepsiCo. Below that, I have my financials first starting with BOFI, Bank of the Internet, one of my first stocks on the portfolio here, HBAN, Huntington Bank Shares, MS, Morgan Stanley, and WFC, Wells Fargo and Company. I have one insurance company, ORI. I've been putting quite a bit of money into ORI here. You can see went ahead and purchased uh, just a few stocks here on the 7th of September, 30 shares, $17.99. And since that time, it's trended up very nicely here, up to $18.98, so about a 5% swing trade or so if I decide to sell off. I'll probably hold that for the longer term. Uh, below ORI, my one insurance company, I have some IT stocks here, first starting with IBM, International Business Machines, AAPL, Apple, AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, Looking to do some day and swing trading with AMD. I actually did one day trade today. Nothing too uh, exhaustive here. 175 shares at 1220, and then sold those off. 175 shares at 1222. Just trying to feel out AMD here a bit. Made uh, three dollars and a change there. Not a big trade, but again, just trying to kind of take a look at the stock and analyze that. Do some technical analysis to kind of see what my limit buy, limit sell orders will be on that stock. And then rounding out that uh, particular market sector, IT, INTC, Intel, and MSFT, Microsoft. I have a couple telecoms here, AT&T, Verizon. Put a few uh, more dollars into AT&T here. Very, very good dividend play, as you can see on the bottom here, 4.538% for the dividend yield. And I like this company as a longer-term hold as well. Below that, I have an energy company here, oil and gas, ExxonMobil, XOM, a couple utility companies, CNP, Centerpoint Energy, ED Consolidated Edison, and SO Southern. Below that, I have my real estate investment trust, APLE, Apple Hospitality, FRT, Federal Realty Investment, O Realty Income Delaware, and STAG, Stag Industrial Incorporated. Below that, I have a couple closed-end funds, and these are funds I've had in the portfolio for quite some time, GOF, Gutenheim, PCM, PCM Fund, PSAC, Prospect Capital, Put a little bit more money into PSEC as well for a swing trade. Uh, did a nice swing trade. Decided not to sell off. I think there's some room for this to trend back up a bit. 
It recently announced a dividend cut. I think that's already calculated into the price of that stock. I do think this is going to probably trend up 2 or 3% over the next few weeks. Uh, then rounding out my closed-in funds, PTY, Pimpco Corp., and YYY, uh, uh, yield shares, high income ETF. And then I have one bond fund, BHK, and then a few penny stocks on the bottom there, DCTH, BAC plus B, MARA, OXP, AW, and SDR. So that is the current portfolio. It's been doing very, very well over the past one month or so. Very volatile, again, driven by Portola and Ford. Both of those stocks have been doing very, very well over the past one month here. So just wanted to give you guys an update on the portfolio. Please let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolio. And not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it there. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, we'll see you then.